Hi, Kenny. Thank you for coming to the Preston Lopez Show. Uh, please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your work. Hi, my name is Kenneth Weiner. I'm a classically trained studio artist. And um, as you can see, I work primarily in, um, in shades of black and white and gray, although I do paint and I do use color. But for this, this, this centerpiece, for example, is graphite, otherwise known as pencil. Um, and I am drawn toward patterns, patterns and textures um, and stories. And in this case, uh, this piece is entitled His World. Which is, um, which refers to autism and those on the uh, autism spectrum, and the world for an autistic child has to be a very scary place. Um, I have the child sitting in a in a large root system of a gigantic tree, but the roots have become writhing, tormenting nightmares, while the future that the child is looking toward is inchoate, unformed, out of focus. A child, yet any child, even a normal child, is never fully aware of the danger surrounding them in this world of ours. That is so interesting because looking at the painting or the drawing, I didn't realize that there was so much behind the, the drawing. Um, but then I, I want to, to show our audience a little bit a close up of this detail type of work. Now, you told us before that you do two types of different um, artistry, I would say. One is silver point and the other one is graphite. This one happens to be graphite. Yes. And let's talk a little bit about the silver point. Unless you have something else to add to this incredible work, because I really like the story behind. No, I find it's fun to me. It's spontaneous. Uh huh. Whereas silver point is really not spontaneous. So let's go and move over here so people can see the silver point. And if you can zoom in uh, to this art piece over here, it's incredible. I don't know if you can see all the details. So tell me a little bit. I'll come over here. I'm not going to bite. Um, so tell me a little bit more about this type of work and what's the difference between this and in the graphite. Well, silver was the medium, of, the drawing medium of choice up until around 1680 when graphite became commercially available. Mm -hmm. Once graphite became commercially available, silver point faded out until in the early 18th century it became a dead art form. It was only revived Later in the 19th century and lately has been what can only be called a renaissance in, in, uh, in silver point as, as a medium. It's a very exacting medium. Um, it's not at all like pencil. Mm -hmm. In fact, it, it has more, um, it, it, it's closer in a sense to using a pen, pen and ink. Um, and, and the image is built up using micro lines, although I've been experimenting with different techniques in okay. an application. Furthermore, there are different surfaces. You can't just pick up a piece of silver and draw on a piece of paper. The paper has to be prepared. Okay. I mean, tell the audience, you can, you can talk to them a little bit. Yes. And I am just very curious because I know this type of work is very intense. And it's like, I'm just curious, like, how long does it take you to draw something like this? Or how long does it take you to create such a masterpiece as, like, this one over here in his world? In terms of the hours involved, um, <clears throat> uh, for example, his world represents um, probably about 60 hours wow. worth of labor. Uh, the silver point, which is much sparser, mm -hmm represents just as much time, if not more time. Um, the wonderful thing about the silver point is that silver oxidizes, so over time it develops a patina oh. and it'll become this rich, warm brown. Oh. Um, and so it kind of age, age by, by the years and by the time. You can accelerate the aging, but I just prefer to let it happen naturally. Okay. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming to uh, the Preston Lopez Show and for sharing your story. Uh, anything else you want to say to the audience? 
I know you're moving to Australia. Yes. So, I mean, for people who are in Australia, maybe you want to say follow him. My or something. name is Kenneth Weiner, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You won't be there. Thank you so much, Jerry. My pleasure. You're sexy